day with uh, Lipton, Georgia, peach tea. Oh. I'm uh, on my way and exactly about, well, I'm supposed to be there in, well, I'd have an hour if it was two minutes later, earlier. Roughly about an hour to get to the heart doctor now. We're making a lot of doctor visits anyway. You know, y'all getting tired of going to the doctor with me? I know I'm tired of going. I don't know. he's going to say but he's going to talk to me about what to do about the lack of blood in my lower part of my heart three cows standing there, supposed to be four. But one is standing right up against the other one with his head down. <laughs> it looked like three cows standing there. But, uh, yeah, we off and on the way. I don't like doctor's appointments, do you? I know, that was a dumb question, wasn't it? There's the mailman coming down the road. I'm not gonna wait, or a mail lady, whichever is driving. I'm not gonna wait too far down the road. At least a quarter of a mile, at least five or six mailboxes before they get to mine. everybody's having a wonderful day uh, I know my YouTube family's uh, still trying to get over yesterday's ride across the mountain especially coming back Whew. boy I mean we come across that we broke the sound barrier there wasn't no sound I mean we literally boom runs across the mountain Oh, and uh, Meg, she, by the way, I made sure she was in the truck before I left this time. <laughs> yeah, she made a run yesterday and we, I thought everybody was in here and she took, and we took off without her. But uh, Bonnie and Clyde said she told some good stories and uh, Bless them, Lord. And, uh, I guess she must have enjoyed herself with Bonnie and Clyde. And this morning, Meg was the first one. She was already in the truck before anybody got out there. She said, you're not leaving me this time. Well, kick back, enjoy the ride. I'm not kicking in no turbos or nothing, so y'all can just uh, sit back there and cool your heels. 
you know, um, visit with one another. And I'm going to ease on down, down the road here. Y'all keep smiling. I'll see you at the doctor's office. Well, yeah, here we sit. I ain't gonna call no names, but y'all behave yourself. We are in the doctor's office, you know. Why am I always last? Entertainment while I'm waiting. Well, there's a lot of construction going on here. They're building this hospital. Oh. Okay. Let's see. I'll, I'm going to try to share this with y'all before I am not able to explain it or able to re uh, remember it well enough to explain it. Anyway, uh, I've got two places that are blocked. Are stopped up to a certain point. Uh, just put me on a nitro, some other medicine. Oh, yeah. and I've agreed to do the cholesterol uh, medicine. Uh, and the one one thing that uh, One thing that I have to take is uh, something that will ex supposed to expand my arteries, help the blood flow. That's something to do to help the blood flow uh, through these areas. Uh, if I continue to have the pain. I need to do something else because he's ordered two different tests that he thinks I need right away. But there's no, there's no, <laughs> there ain't no appointments available until uh, October the 30th. <coughs> And she told the doctor that and when she did he come back out there with his business card and, and put his cell phone number. I'm gonna block part of it off. His cell phone. He put his cell phone number on there. And uh Told me to don't hesitate to call him. If uh, I have the pain more than a certain amount of time and it don't go away, and it I can't, or yeah, with a certain amount of time, or if it increases between now and then, he wanted these tests a lot faster than uh, what they're saying. I kind of try to opt out on something on him. Uh, I didn't want to be admitted. He wanted to admit me in the hospital and do some kind of test. Uh, and I didn't want to do that. And I didn't want to be uh, drugged up in the hospital. I don't like hospitals. What can I say? But I will go in and I'll do these uh, other way of doing it that he'll be able to see what he needs to see to show what he wants to see. Problem is, I've got to wait to do that until the end of next month. Anyway, thanks for y'all sitting around waiting on me here. Glad y'all got seatbelts on, ready to go home. I guess y'all want me to stop and buy you something to eat too, don't you? Yeah. 
This is very stressful. Um, just sitting around waiting is stressful. So, let's see how fast they get my medicine to me because I told them, no, don't send it to the pharmacy. Send it to my uh, insurance company. Let them mail it to me. <laughs> I'm in no hurry to start them. And uh, I went this long, so what? Let's go a little longer. I have it to me in a week anyway. All right. God bless. Everybody keep smiling. Remember, all things work out for the glory. We don't matter. It's him that matters. And, uh, that's what we're here for. We're here for him. And I'm not going nowhere until he says come home. So, uh, y'all take care. And I'll see you at the house. Let's don't get our hopes up too much yet. You know, the last ones didn't make it. These were just hatched. Two out of the whole pack so far. Well, I made it back home. And I must have scared y'all driving home. Y'all jumped out of the car and took off running. I don't know about y'all sometimes. <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah. Look back on. Long story short. Hopefully when all this testing is done, the end of next month, uh, all this will be able to be managed with medicine and uh, no heart surgeries or anything like that. But uh, in between time, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. I'm going to keep doing random things I do, just as random as always. He asked what I like to do the most. And I said, well, anymore, it's talking to my phone. He said, oh, who you talk to? I said, oh, anybody to listen to me on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. He thought that was funny. All right, I'm like... <laughs> It's the truth. Uh, but anyway, I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm going to the barn today, neither. Uh, I think I'll be the first thing I do tomorrow. Because I'm going to go to Tractor Supply Grand opening tomorrow morning sometime or another whenever I get up. And, uh, We'll see what happens. Anyway, we'll go to the Grand Open together. Y'all want to go with me tomorrow? I mean, we went down there the other day, but they're having a Grand opening, you know. $10 off on boots. Scott wants some boots, so I guess I'll be taking him down there. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to so he needs some new work boots. Hmm. And, uh, I want to see if them bib overhauls are uh, on sale. If they go on sale. See, I priced them the other day. So if they go cheaper, I might come home with a pair of bib overalls, you know. I've been wanting a good pair here. I hadn't had a good pair in a long time. Anyway, I'm not going to close this out yet. I might come back and just tell y'all good night, but I'm not going to do it yet because I don't know. I might get up and do something. So in the meantime, just keep smiling. Just keep on smiling. <laughs>